949 on this Saturday morning. That's time to imagine it. We have Carl Nelson, the chief scientist with the Imagination Station here. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Hey, I like your style. I like where this is going. There's two of us and I see five bottles <laughs> of some bubbly. Of, of bubbly, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, there's some really cool science behind champagne. Okay. Uh, the secondary fermentation that creates the carbon dioxide gas inside uh, the, the wine is what makes it into champagne. Mm -hmm. And that carbonation can build up to 100 pounds per square inch of pressure wow. inside the bottle. That's why the bottles are always fairly beefy. Okay. Right? And the danger, of course, when you're opening a bottle of champagne is that the cork can explode at a tremendous velocity. I've seen that happen. So, and <laughs> that's actually not the way to open a bottle of champagne. Really? Yeah, you don't, you want to keep that carbonation in the champagne so it ends up in your glass. So you don't want to just, you don't want to shake it, you don't want to do all that crazy stuff. You know, you want to remove the cage. Okay, here's the safe way to open a bottle of champagne. Six turns will remove the cage from your bottle of champagne. Okay, and make sure if you're a kid you don't try this because right. you have don't to try be this 21 or older. Absolutely. <laughs> to control the cork, you just want to hold the cork and then twist the bottle. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Nothing comes squirting out. You've saved all the carbonation for your glass. Hey, that was that was great. Okay, really simple, easy <laughs> way to do like it. I feel like you have practice at I, this. I have practiced this. <laughs> now, that's the safe way to open a bottle of champagne. Yeah. Now, historically, there have been other ways to open bottles of champagne. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you know, in Napoleon's time. Whoa. <laughs> Right? So you're riding a horse. <laughs> you don't have enough hands to hold the bottle of champagne, to hold the champagne flute, and to open the bottle. Okay? Yeah. So what you'd actually do, <laughs> now I'm going to remove the cage on this one just for a little bit of uh, fun, just to make sure it works he well. Didn't mention he's holding a sword here. Right. So <laughs> what you want to do with this method is just, you might want to yeah, stand gonna, back. Yeah, I'm going to stand second. back, yeah. All you're going to do is you're going to slide the sword down the bottle. <laughs> and you, what's neat about this, though, Tony, check this out. Check this out. What happened there, and we can't see it because the cork's on the other side of the room, but the bottle actually breaks wow. at the top. Yeah. All right? The cork <laughs> is still intact. Cork is still intact. And if there's any fear about, now that's, that's very sharp, so don't touch the top. I won't. But you know, that 100 pounds of pressure of CO2 gas will push any broken glass away. OK. So you're totally safe when doing that. So I want you to give this a try. Well, you want me to cut the bottle in half there yeah, or and the so, top off? OK. Exactly. And, and let's talk about the science before you do it. Sure. The bottle. Go ahead and take the bottle there, but okay. don't point it at me. Right. So the bottle has a seam on the side. And if we turn it here, I've, I've kind of marked it right there. Got That's you. the seam. Okay. That's a weak part of the bottle. The secondary weak part of the bottle is right near this top edge, right with this top part here. Got it. If you apply the saber <laughs> in one smooth, fluid motion yeah. while aiming the cork right over there. We'll have fluid everywhere. You will not have fluid anywhere because oh, this wine okay. has been chilled, increases the solubility of the CO2, keeps it in the liquid. Okay. And just go ahead and All right. keep the safe for the technique. So this would be a party trick. Saber on the bottle, yeah. slide it down the bottle. Okay. One smooth fluid motion. And watch my fingertips as well. And hold the bottle tightly. Okay, ready? Here we go. Looks good. Look at that. Wow. And again, not much, <laughs> not much CO2 lost in the top of the bottle. And that one, actually, Tony, that was a nice. That was a clean cut. complete break. How about that? Okay. So a little material science with the manufacture of the bottles and how they're made, a little history there. And uh, if you are going to open a bottle of champagne, definitely, you know, do it the safe way. Right. Keep your hand on the cork, control the cork. You don't want that hitting your face or anybody else in the room. But it's fun. Well, I can say, dear diary, <laughs> today I opened a bottle of champagne with a sword for the first time. Thank you very much, sure. Carl. Hey, if you want to check out Carl and all of his other concoctions, ones that are a little more kid-friendly, you can head on down to the Imagination Station. It's at One Discovery Way. They're open today as well, and the dinosaurs are there. Dinosaurs are there, and today and tomorrow are the last two days to check out the science of the season. We're doing some really cool stuff with uh, Frostology. Frostology, so yep. all of the cold stuff happening. All the cold stuff's happening. Hey, Happy New Year once again. This was great. Sure. Um, let's not let this go to waste after the program <laughs> ends here. <laughs> Maybe mimosas? Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Well, let's, get, let's turn it over now to Dave with sports.